スモーキーよしすごいもしもし聞こえますか Surgery to my heart.、Mm. I'm nervous. But anyways, I have surgery tomorrow today in a couple of hours. And yeah. Last time I was in the hospital, the nurse got like really mad at me because I locked the shower door when I was taking the shower. And I wasn't allowed to lock doors and shit because. I weren't sure if my heart would keep on beating. <laughs> so I tried to film as much as possible in the hospital and maybe catch those moments because I didn't film back then. And in my opinion, those moments were like pretty funny. Let go! Oh man, it was just starting. Fuck off! It was just starting to get warmer and starting yesterday it's starting to get cold again. I really wanted to skate outside but the track the skate park was like all frozen up so it was really slippery. Couldn't skate like yesterday, damn it. Oi oi oi, what's standing over there? Sumoki Sumoki Yes, Sugoi. I got released from the hospital two days ago. I wanted to film a bit earlier, like in the hospital, but I was sharing the room. The guy was really awesome. He was like coming from Amsterdam as well. We had the same kind of humor. We laughed a lot. Yeah. <laughs> but surgery went well. I'm still alive, as you can see.、So. <laughs> But yeah, the drugs they gave me to like get my body numb so I wouldn't feel anything from surgery didn't really work. I didn't feel the incision in my groin, but I did feel like、uh, a small part behind where they cut me open to get inside my body. So that was feeling pretty bad. And to make it even worse, I felt everything they were burning away in my heart. So they gave me an extra dose of morphine. And yeah, the morphine just actually kicked in after they finished the surgery. So I've been lying there on a fucking table for like an hour and a half, an hour and 45 minutes or something. With a heartbeat that was like beating somewhere between 230 to 50 beats a minute. Kinda suck, man. But oh well. Every time they were burning away a piece in my heart to like.、Uh, let me start over. I, I had like extra tissue in my heart that was causing the heart issues.、Uh, you can get that from the birth. So I got it from my birth, and I've been living with it all my life.、Uh, it should be like. Get like close to a normal life now, but yeah, kind of really so. So they were burning away the tissue, and they asked me if I wanted some extra morphine-based drugs or something.、So、I said yes to it because it really, really sucked. It felt like it was burning from the inside, like from my left titty to my right titty, and on the same side on my back. Uh, they gave me extra morphine, waited a bit, and started over all again. And every time they were like burning away something, it was taking at least 20 seconds. So it was a bit of torture, <laughs> but we're still alive, and the surgery went well. The doctor told me that there was like a 95% chance that everything should be okay now, that I should be normal. Well. Should be able to live a normal life. <laughs> I will. I will never, ever be normal. <laughs> so yeah, 
So right now I need to like lay down, take it easy for like at least a week. Like, pillow talk for at least a week and yeah. I'm already having a hard time on my second day out with doing nothing. My friends asked me if I want to come to a skate park tomorrow, so they will push me around in a wheelchair and I'll be watching them, so that's awesome. Food in the hospital sucked. But that's something everyone knows. <laughs> uh, I wasn't able to eat for like 20 hours before the surgery because I was the last person on the list to get the surgery. That sucked as well. Uh, on the other side, I got like pretty nauseous and stuff, and I didn't feel bad or something because my stomach was like empty. So the noxious, noxious feeling was like fading pretty quick every time I got it. I got cramps on the side of my head and on my jaw because <clears throat> I was lying on the table for like an hour and a half, an hour and 45 minutes with a really high heartbeat. And yeah, weird thing is, I could feel my heart like in my lower belly instead of somewhere over here at a certain part. But yeah, I can't really think of anything else that was like odd, like something that you don't feel every day or something. Oh, yeah, and on the back of my head, there was like this crazy, pushy feeling from the heartbeats. Uh, yeah, that's not really weird if you think about the fact that your heart is beating like a maniac. Like, like you're running a marathon for like nearly two hours, you know, at full speed. So, yeah, that's not really that odd. But yeah, I've never experienced stuff like that before, so it was odd to me. And I hope if someone ever gets an operation like that, that this will help them a bit. Like. You don't have to be scared or something, it's like, it's really scary, you're just lying on the table. You can even joke around with the nurses and the doctor, at certain points of course. Uh, it's all good, I'm happy. I'm on to recovery, and yeah, I'll keep you up to date with my wheelchair vlogs, I think. Once, I, once I'm able to push my wheelchair around myself, because right now I'm not allowed to push my wheelchair would like put through too much pressure on my groin and there's a chance that my vein will pop open inside or outside my body and it's one of your major veins so I could bleed out if that happens. <laughs> Get in touch with me if you want information about it or something because I think it really helped to talk with people that like experience the same stuff as me. Because that was what I did and not everything was like calming me down, but a lot of stuff suited me really, really much. Uh, that's it for now, people. See ya.